you just missed a super yawn. I'm suddenly very sleepy. Even though I know I look so incredibly alert. However, you've noodled your way to Palm Swipes after. Spatterage of the latest episode of Mom Swipes Left. A podcast with two middle-aged women going cooter to cooter to solve Sasquatch-adjacent murders so you don't have to. This is episode 49 about MSL episode 188. I tried to do that with Jen's inflection. Coming up on 200, baby. I'm your host, Palm de Terre. Enjoy. As I said, they're coming up on 200 episodes and noodling, which was the secret word of the of the episode in all its various definitions. But in this case, they're noodling, in my mind, how to time travel and get to 200 episodes before the podcast and conference, just so they can lord it over all the over the newbies' heads. People are questioning Jen's living situation as a single woman living alone, which I would argue is not actually true. Perhaps she doesn't date, but she does not live alone. She has a faithful canine companion, and I'm not referring to Carol. As far as Jen's lifestyle choices are concerned, I would be more concerned. Just said concerned. But I, that her vision board consists of getting her septic system pumped. Not a euphemism. And to clone her son from bag tree poop to harvest the body parts. Confession Corner was kind of an epic fail, only because poor Dalton was scammed. Now, hopefully, he'll listen to the show. Sorry, need to burp. Not burping, though. Never mind. Notable news... Back into the world of cannibalism, really. Making human slammy from celebrity cells. Interesting that Carol only seems to be a, wants to eat attractive meats. Jen, you would know James Franco from any number of Seth Rogen movies. 127 Hours, the guy who fell... And pinned his arm in a crevice. Not a euphemism. Had to cut it off. That was James Franco. He also wrote, directed, and starred in, I believe, the movie called The Disaster Artist. About the worst movie ever made, The Room, which I have not seen. I tried to, I like the descriptions for the different celebrity slammies. I can't say sl. Salami, Jen, I'm sorry, it's salami. So I would say, though, that the combined Carol Jen MSL slammy would have the taste of idiotic confidence with a hint of tuna, gin, and cheap wine. Jen getting $10 a day for... 30 days as a redhead seeing free movies in England is not a million dollars. Well, certainly not per redhead. I don't really understand the hatred of ginger as a, as a term. I don't think it's really that new. It started... Apparently hundreds of years ago when the English discovered ginger in Malaysia. Because the English discovered everything. How do you feel about 
Americans who say cheers when they leave a room or a party. That always bugs me. And I suppose that's cultural appro appropriation. Though I don't really see how the English can be appropriated. They invented cultural appropriation. I'm always kind of irked by English rappers for some reason. They just don't have the street cred, which is probably an un unfair assumption on my part. Some fun fan suggestions from Earthworm Jim. Would you rathers? I was curious about the chocolate shit versus shit that tastes like chocolate. Wait, no, that is shit. Chocolate shit is shit that tastes like chocolate chocolate, isn't it? And what if the shitter only ate chocolate? Would the shit then taste like chocolate? As opposed to a turd that's covered in chocolate? A lot of controversy over dirty underwear. I'm thinking, Jen, if you have any of your old green sequin twirling leotards Lying around, you could fetch a pretty penny from Japanese businessmen for those. Crusty or not? How often did you get a sequin stuck up there? Jen asked me to keep a laugh log. I didn't, I wasn't able to do it with timestamps, but I will say that I did get a chuckle out of the fan suggestions song that Carol did. Also, Jen's reading of Larry Doyle Sanders, who killed his friend while noodling, shoving his arm up a catfish mouth. Good question. Is Oklahoma the South or the West? I think to, to we Northerners, it's all six of one, but I actually think if you're from Oklahoma, you'd think it's your Western. But it, it has that southern mindset, which I think is what you're thinking. Which, the mindset that says, I want to catch me a catfish. I'm going to shove my arm up its mouth. Then the ginger who'd you rather was pretty funny. Especially, Jen, you thinking that Ron Howard was was John Boy, actually played by Richard Thomas. So maybe that was the confusion, that they both have first and last names that are first names, Ron Howard, Richard Thomas. So I could see the confusion there. Personally, in the Howard family, I would my, my favorite ginger would be Bryce Dallas Howard, Ron's daughter. Fun fact, all of Ron Howard's children's middle names are the location where they were um, damn it what's the fucking word they weren't they weren't impregnated his where his wife where they were where they did the deed that brought the child I don't know why I can't think of the word um, and no, Julianne Moore was not on the X-Files, but I'm giving you a break on that one, too. Even though it was obviously Gillian Anderson, but she only plays English women now, so that could be confusing. And Julianne Moore did take over the role of Clarice Starling from Jodie Foster for the Silence of the, Silence of the Lambs sequel, Hannibal. So, she dressed as an FBI agent, much as Gillian Anderson did. So, maybe that was your point of confusion there. Julianne Moore, you would know more from, well, Jurassic Park 2, The Big Lebowski, Children of Men, any number of other movies. Just not Gillian Anderson movies. And why did you have so many 
redheaded children in the who do you want to bang list. That that throws me off anyway. Takes a lot of people out of the running if I have to choose a child. Though I was wondering about whether anybody's done fan fiction about Richie Cunningham banging Opie. Or vice versa. I think that's all me got. Oh, and I went on really long. Oh, well. See you next week.